the BT Young Scientists and Technologists for 2016 are Maria Louise Furfazan and Diane Burra from Loreto Secondary School in Balbriggan in Dublin. We come from agricultural backgrounds and we uh, every summer when we go to our grandparents we see um, a significant difference between the, the chickens, the size of the chickens they raise, and then the ones that are store bought, so the ones that are industrially grown. Our hypothesis was that these enzymes would, until now, they haven't been questioned really. Um, so our hypothesis was that these have, would have a detrimental effect on the nematodes in the soil. So the the by the, causing a difference in a change in their behavior and also their death. Yes, they, they would die faster. They play a major part in, in keeping the soil fertile. To see the two winners, Maria and Diana, today, and uh, the the pride that they have in winning and uh, the thrill of, of actually winning the Young Scientist is, is an enormous honour and as you know um, Irish students tend to go on and do very well in the international competitions as well so it's a wonderful occasion for everybody. If you talk to the judges the standard here was, was extremely high it's great to see the winner coming from the biological and ecological section hasn't happened for a while um, and I, I can tell you from talking to the judges that this was an extremely worthy winner. It's groundbreaking or it wouldn't have, it, it wouldn't have won the, uh, the competition, so without a doubt uh, th there's something unique in it. Definitely a worthy winner. I mean, the amount of work that would have gone into this project is just ridiculous. Once again, it's these kids being amazing and showing the discipline that they have to pursue these types of projects. It's really impressive work. And what they've done is they've discovered that a food additive that's used to increase growth in chickens cows, all kinds of things, to increase growth in, in farm animals um, actually can cause harm to worms that live in the soil. Now you say, okay, what's a worm? But the worms are keeping the soil fertilized and they're important. And this is a particular type. It's not like the earthworms that we see or we might put on a hook if we want to go fishing. They're tiny little things that you can hardly see at all. But there's five million of them in a typical cubic meter of soil. And without them, the soil wouldn't yield as much crops as it, as it does right now.